Jeans are so hard to find no matter what your body shape is. I have a special surprise for you in this video where I have several jeans featured on my personal body, which is a pear shape, and my besties body, which is an apple shape. I think you'll be shocked at how different the jeans look on the different body shapes. It's very interesting to see. So I have a little bit of everything for you in this video. If you wear jeans to work or more casual, let's go, I'm so excited. All right, so raise your hand if you were nervous to try the trendy cargo jeans. You can't see me, but I'm raising all of my hands. Okay. These are fabulous to me. When I tell you they shock the actual crap out of me, the website says that they have a 27 inch inseam. There is so much stretch in here. I actually tried these in a 14 and in a 16. What you're seeing here is in a 14. So although they're probably the slightest bit more tight than I would like right now, I feel like they're going to be good after a little bit of wear. And I think that I'm going to get a ton of wear out of these. The acid wash is so good. They also do come in black and they come in more of kind of like a khaki which is a brown and a green now i can tell you because i have the brown khaki that you'll see in a different video i definitely like those in a 16 so just fyi and i would consider the 16 my normal size i also really like the leg how it's slim but it's not a skinny jean it's also cropped so that's on trend the cargo's on trend it's kind of like that slim straight style time and true knocked it out of the park with these I reluctantly bought them in black because they were just so freaking good, you guys. They were just so good. I have myself on a black jean quota, not a quota, but a limitation. I don't know because I have so many black jeans. If you are new here, I have a little bit more of an edgy style. Black jeans, gray jeans are my favorite, but I just couldn't help it with these because they're so good. I'm also wearing these in a size 14. I feel like the black looks slightly tighter than the acid wash. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's about, but the rise is really good on these two. They're like a solid medium rise. And when I shared all of my pre-fall wow week over on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see stuff first. I did get a lot of questions. What shoes would you wear with this? I personally plan on wearing sneakers as well as any kind of like a sneaker boot as well as any sort of boot, certainly a combat boot. Also, tell us down in the comments what you would wear with these because on this channel, all ideas are good ideas and my ideas are literally just mine. They're not special. <laughs> So here's another one. Raise your hand if you were scared of parachute pants or if the idea of parachute pants just takes you right back in a bad way. This is me also raising my hand. So when I saw that these were parachute pants as well as cargo pants, I mean, let's just say I only bought them to do as a try on. I didn't buy them because I was genuinely interested in them. Wow week here is me mostly just trying to shop for you guys, doing a massive try on haul presenting to you what is at Walmart. Anyway, I was shocked to say the least when I liked these. I'm wearing these in my true size XL. They're that very soft lived in style denim. They barely feel like denim and there's just a lot going on here. I mean, I think they're only called a parachute pant because of the little cinchy at the bottom. They're also a jogger. They also have a drawstring waist. They also are cargo pants. Like there's just a lot happening here and I also got them in gray. So let's look at them in gray. Oh, pardon the interruption. It's just me, host Jen. I wanted to welcome you into the channel if you happen to be new here. And if you are not new, then welcome back. We are in Wow Week. What is Wow Week? It stands for Week of Walmart, where I upload a week's worth of Walmart videos seven days in a row. If you don't know where you're falling today within Wow Week, because it's your first video you're watching in the series, you are here. And don't forget to check out all the other videos that have either already been uploaded or are to come here in wow week my channel is all about helping you be your most confident self through fashion and style and although wow week is generally going to be a try on haul series with some styling i mostly do styling on this channel so if you are looking for affordable outfit ideas then definitely consider subscribing we always like to say that we cook looks on this channel we be cooking them looks our community here is full of awesome folk so if you are also awesome then consider subscribing if you're not awesome um, I don't know. It might get weird because we are all awesome. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I have been in the kitchen cooking them looks. And I always like to warn folks that I'm just a little, just a little smidge goofy. Sometimes more than others.
We also do a ton of Walmart on this channel, so if you love Walmart, I would probably also consider subscribing. Again, only if you're awesome. Everything that I show here today will be listed and linked down below in the description box by number. Click the title of the video underneath the video, which will open up a box, and then you can click more, and that will give you access to all the links. If you do decide to use my links, please know how much I appreciate you. That is a way to support me, my channel, and my content that is of no additional cost to you. And I can never thank you enough. Let's keep going with the video. As you can see with these, I also broke my black and gray pant roll. I feel like somebody needs to start giving me demerits or something. I need something. I feel like they look really cool if they are cinched up as well as if they are down, meaning uncinched at the bottom. So I think that makes them very versatile depending how you want them to look. They are a little bit cropped, but typically joggers, in my opinion, when they kind of hang loose like that, they don't really look that great. So the fact that these look eyed is kind of cool to me. I'm somebody, whenever I wear joggers, I like to hike them up. I just think that's a little bit more of a cool girl style, edgier style. And a lot of times with joggers, they do not stay hiked up. So the fact that these have the bungees, I think really lends itself to that. I feel like they're a little bit more high-waisted. It states that there is a 2% stretch in here. And there definitely is a stretch in here because I can kind of move all around. I can do squats. I was doing a squat test over on Instagram when I tried these. But I have to say, compared to the first pair of cargo jeans that we saw those were just so clearly your typical stretch style jean where these are I don't know they just feel different than that they almost feel like a cross between a looser style workwear pant and a sweat pant or something like I said they don't really feel like denim anyway they're so good they are so good I can't recommend them enough Time and true straight jeans with a sequin stripe sequins sequin how do you guys say it? <laughs> I thought I would really like these and I put these in the trendy section because everything shine is very in right now. Although I don't know that these are particularly in style with the stripe down the side, just sequins everywhere, shine everywhere, blinged out everything is very in. So I love myself a black jean. I just didn't like these. I thought they looked okay. I don't know. I think the something with the stripe, I didn't like them. They fit me fine at a 16. I think I would be a little bit worried about them stretching out. There is some nice stretch in here. although. I did not try them in a 14. I would suspect that I'm probably somewhere between a 14 and a 16 on these. 16 would be considered my true size. I'd say they run a little bit big. I don't really love where these fall on my ankle. I love myself a crop pan. I talk about that all the time, but these fall somewhere not great for me. I feel like I want them to either be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, and I am five foot six for reference. These are a return for me. Let me know what you think though. Scoop slouchy boyfriend wide leg jeans. These truly surprised me. I was not expecting wide leg jeans to be any kind of flattering, but I really love the way these look. They are really hard to get your hands on already. The scoop stuff, as you probably know, sells out almost instantly, but I'm hoping that they will restock it. So I'm going to feature it still in this video. I am five foot six, right around that length on me where I would probably want to just wear them with sneakers. But I feel like that's not really that weird. I think a lot of jeans I wear with a certain type of shoe just based on what length they are. Unless they're truly a crop, the versatility often just isn't there with jeans. Anyway, these do have a 1% stretch in them and I just find them to be absolutely fabulous. I've already worn them out and about and they were perfectly comfortable and I also love where they fall on the waist. I can't recommend these enough if they come back in stock or check your store if you do have scoop at your store. Celebrity Pink Juniors Plus Frey Waist Straight Leg Jean. Definitely a low rise. So, although I don't love these, I was absolutely floored at how non horrific they looked. I thought they were going to look really bad, particularly because they're low waist. Why do I keep saying low waist and not low rise? I've said it a million times at this point. Maybe not on this video, but on Instagram, I keep saying low waist. Please make fun of me in the comments. <laughs> 
I thought the waist specifically was interesting in that it was frayed. It's a little bit scary. There are several clasps there and I would feel comfortable. Look scary, but I would say it's more secure than I envisioned. I actually really like the length on these, the rise on these. I kind of like everything about them. I just don't think they look that flattering, but I also don't think they look horrific. Again, I thought they'd look horrific. So even though these are still probably not a win for me, I'm not mad at them. I am wearing a size 16. Juniors plus is very confusing. That being said, I do think that I'm somewhat in my normal size because I do wear 16 women's. I, I just feel like that often doesn't translate to juniors plus the same way that women's sizing does. But in this case, I feel like it kind of did. So these are all right. These are all right. Scoop is really tough, you guys. These are already sold out. I bought them the second that they dropped. My first order got canceled because I think they sold out so quickly. I was somehow able to order them again and I got my hands on them. And the second that they arrived at my house, they're sold out. They have been restocking stuff. So I'm still gonna feature them just in case you have Scoop in your store or if they do restock, depending when you find this video. Let's just read what they're called. Scoop women's wide leg low rise jeans. I ordered these because I was curious. So because they were low rise, I just boom went right up to an 18. I was like, mm, mm, mm. if it's gonna work, that's the only way it's gonna work, right? But do we see these? Tell me these look a low rise. These are not low rise at all. Honestly, don't really look low rise on the model either, but we all know how that is. Maybe she's really tall or something, like who knows? Actually, if she was really tall, they probably would look more low rise. Maybe she's short. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I just was shocked. These do have a 1% stretch in them, but do we see from the side? I always say that I have a stomach bulge and I do. I understand that it's not horrific or anything, but it's there and I'm telling you, this thing is sucking it in. Almost like we love a good 100% cotton pair of jeans to do that. If I have to say one thing about 100% cotton jeans, it's that if you've got that bulge there, it will just... <laughs> right up. That being said, these are not 100% cotton and it's still doing that. They do give off the vibe of 100% cotton. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'm going to keep these. I really like the wash. I feel like it's kind of grungy a little bit. I love the sort of cut off distressed bottom just a little bit. They're wide leg. I like the way they look on my butt. I can't believe I'm saying that I like these. I'm shocked, but they definitely do run small. I normally am in a 16 and I got an 18 here and honestly, the 18s are a little snug, but I think we'll make it work. I think they definitely will stretch. So, hey, this is why we like to try new things. Time and true high rise straight leg jeans with a it says slit him. I would say split him, but that's fine. I knowed you guys. I knowed that I was gonna love these. If you're new here, I like to make up words or say stuff wrong on purpose. Sometimes not on purpose. I have my own vocabulary. I just knew I was gonna love these because I have lots of pants like this and more of a dress style slack. There is actually some of those to even come in wow week here. And let me tell you, I absolutely love, I am enthralled by wearing this style of pant with a low fare. Low Loafers look so good with this style pant. I don't know what it is. I don't know that I've tried it with a jean yet, but I'm sure it will look just as fabulous as with a dress style workwear pant. Feel like time and true in general is definitely, I really need to stop, is really killing it with jeans recently. I know they look like they fit. I totally get that. But I feel like honestly, I probably could do somewhere between a 14 and a 16, which tells me they run a little bit big. There is some nice stretch in there. And if you guys are wondering, the reason I say that kind of stuff is stay tuned for my favorite pair of jeans. I wore those all day today as an example and they were 16 and I was like in between a 14 and a 16 and they do stretch out. So when I say stuff like that, it's because I'm kind of trying to guard against the inevitable stretch that I've now experienced with those jeans and lots of jeans. That's just how jeans are sometimes. So that's just how they be. I love these. I, I mean, I can't recommend them enough. They come in black and I probably shouldn't buy those, but also might buy those. <laughs> First up, we have the Sofia Vergara Adora Curvy Girlfriend High Rise Front Seam Jeans. First of all, Donna is here. Hi, Hello. Donna. 
finally making her debut on the Hi, channel. <laughs> I'm a huge Sofia Vergara stan, but I have never tried the Adora line. So what's interesting about these is I feel like they look a little bit more of a slim straight or kind of even leaning towards skinny jean on me versus how they look on Donna. I don't think they're supposed to be. I mean, I think that's why they're calling them girlfriend jean. They do have nice stretch in here and they do come in a regular and a short. I'm wearing them in the regular and Donna is wearing them in the short. We are both wearing them in a size 16. And overall, they come in a double zero through a 22. I really like the front seam. I like the sort of, I don't even know what you call that, mismatch step hem. It is more of a roll hem. I think it just adds a little bit of interest to the jean and I am really liking where they fall on my ankle. I think I really do like the way that these look on Donna. She's going to tell you something a little bit different. I like that they're not as tight on her legs as they are on me and I think that just gives them a different look but I know she has some thoughts so yes I do <laughs> my <laughs> thoughts are that I'm not as thrilled with them as <laughs> I feel as though it's kind of the same thing that always happens with me when I'm buying jeans and that is that they just seem to feel a little big in the leg and a little tight in the waist frustrating when you're trying to buy jeans and you want to be able to breathe in them and <laughs> you and really you need to breathe I want to be able to eat, eat. <laughs> priorities priorities <laughs> they're okay they're just not a favorite. I think we should still keep looking. Okay. I'm going to keep mine though. I like mine. Is that okay with you, Donna? If I keep them? Yeah, good. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Next up, we have the Sofia Vergara Rosa line, but these are the curvy, skinny, super high rise ankle jeans. They do come in a double zero through a size 22. And as I'm talking about them right now, they are fully stocked. I'm wearing them in a regular and Donna is wearing them in a short. I really like the high rise on these. I tend to like stuff that is more high rise and I tuck my shirts in a lot. I feel like Donna's probably gonna have different things to say about it. The 16 fits true to size. I am between a 14, 16, but mostly leaning 16 nowadays. Donna, what are your thoughts? I think for these, I would have probably gone down a size. They're really long in the crotch area for me. I felt like I had to almost pull the legs up further in order for the crotch to not hang down so low. I always like to kind of wear shirts that are a little looser and hide the stomach area and tighter pants that accentuate my legs, whereas Jen would just wear everything tight. <laughs> wear everything tight and accentuate her smaller waist, which, you know, I kind of try to hide that area because that's my largest trouble spot. But I think they were good in the length. And yeah, I think we'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's that. keep it moving, keep sister. We have another pair of Sofia Vergara, another one too that I have not tried. So this is their Eden line. These are the straight, super high rise 90s raw hem. They also come in sizes double zero to 22, also in a regular and a short. I feel like these overall had a little bit less stretch to them than maybe some of the other Sofia Vergara ones that we did. I particularly really liked the bottom of these, how they had the split hem. I know that Donna will say a little bit more about that too. I really liked these. It's not that they weren't comfortable. There's just less stretch. I do really like that they're a slim straight leg because it gives kind of the vibe of a skinny jean without it being an actual skinny jean. I'm looking at the zipper on mine. It looks like it's struggling. <laughs> My zipper is struggling on that one. Is this the ones we had to lay down to put on? You. Oh, that. no wonder. I had to lay down to put these things on. So we're going to say that they run a little bit small because I'm wearing a 16 regular and I think they's a little bit tight. So Donna, what are your thoughts? I actually really liked these. We have a winner. I liked the fact that although they were big in the leg, they were kind of bigger all the way down. They looked more of a trouser jean type feel on me. They were much more comfortable in the waist. Although the length was a little long, I absolutely can make them work with a heel. So Jen had a pair of heels laying around and I just grabbed them, put them on. Clearly they matched the shirt. Huh. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> but I really like them. I love the inside slit on the ankle. I think that that For is sure. uh, really unique and think that these are absolutely a winner. But I would say shorter girls maybe beware a little bit because these are a 16 short yes. on Donna and she still felt like she really needed a hefty heel and that's a chunky heel, wasn't it? Yeah, like four it was, inches it or something. Pretty big, so. so just beware of that. <laughs> 
This next pair here is by the brand 98. I've tried a few other pants in the brand 98. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of the funky printed pants that I often will wear with a graphic tee. Those are also by the brand 98. So when I noticed they had jeans, I was particularly interested in them. They say that they're a sailor style flare leg. I don't know what that means. I kind of liked that they were crop. Crop jeans are very controversial on this channel in terms of people don't like high water whatever but I particularly love crop jeans with boots and things like that so I kind of thought I was really gonna like these they definitely do run small I first ordered a 16 and then I definitely needed an 18 overall though they do come in a size 2 through 20 they do have 2% stretch the one thing I definitely didn't really love I feel like Donna didn't love either was that there was no pockets on the butt at first I was kind of mm -hmm. like oh they might be cute for work wear but watching the footage back I don't love them what is a sailor style flare leg let's google that it is a flare leg that you're meant to wear in a boat <laughs> i know so i just googled it and it basically is just like this is what a bell bottom is i don't know when i first put them on i was kind of describing them as like a wide leg flare i don't know all in all i think that they're okay i don't think they're the worst jeans ever i don't think they're uncomfortable i think these are a pass for me and my thoughts are exactly your thoughts I felt like they were ginormous in the leg and I didn't like the fact that there were no pockets in the back. Again, I had to wear heels with them even though they were shorts, snug in the waist, same old, same old. They overall, I think, look more of a wide leg on you. And I have these in darker as well and I do like the darker ones better. And I feel like we all used to wear the no pockets on the butt, but now it looks weird. Wasn't that a thing back? Mm -hmm. Back whenever? Yeah. So it's a no from both of us on these. These guys, moving on. Another pair of Sofia Vergara. These are actually called skinny jeans. I feel like some of the ones that we've been looking at sort of remind you of skinny jeans, but they're technically not. Some of it might just be because they're tight on me. This is the Rosa Curvy line. I feel like I always do very well with that line because I think it is made more for people that are a pear shape or hourglass shape. These have a little bit of an extra stitching on them, which is, I think we both thought was kind of cool, yes. Are you yes. asleep over there, Donna? <laughs> <laughs> I nodded my head. She's awake. <laughs> She's here. They couldn't hear when you nod your head. They do call these super high rise. So just do be aware of that because I know that's really not for everybody. But even though these are a traditional skinny jean, I really, really like these. I'm wearing what I would call my true size 16. They come in a double zero through size 22 and they do come in a regular or a short. I also found these to be more stretchy than some of the other ones that we tried. Overall, I think these are one of my personal favorite. And they were not one of my personal favorites. <laughs> Anybody that's an apple shape like me, the issue is just always the same. We're always gonna struggle with a larger waist and a smaller leg. Unfortunately, to get jeans or pants in general to fit us around the waist, they're just gonna be bigger all over and not look as flattering as they would on, on somebody that's a pear shape. Somebody that has a massive <laughs> behind. You can clearly see that it's just kind of baggy. I did not find these to have a lot of give in the waist. Area. And Donna, what have so. you found to be your perfect jean? It's a skinny jean. A, a skinny that's jean more... that has a lot of stretch. Just a lot, a lot of stretch. Okay. Yeah. So, or even like a jean jegging or something along oh, those yeah, lines. Oh yeah, jegging. That would, makes sense. That would, what is so funny, if you look at our images here, it's amazing to me that we are in the same size. Yeah, and it, it looks like we're wearing different jeans. You can tell because we're telling you they're the same jeans and if you look for the details. But I feel like if we were just walking randomly, you, would never you wouldn't even think we're wearing jeans. the same jeans jeans especially same not the same size, size. See, it's why our height our weight is yep. completely different yeah same jeans same size we are about halfway through this video so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far that really helps out me and my channel and i appreciate it so so much Sophia Vergara, the Adora line. I think we did see that earlier. These are the curvy high rise girlfriend jeans. Same thing, they come in the double zero through the size 22 and they also come in the regular and the short. I'm feeling like the same thing that I thought earlier about the girlfriend jeans were, I think on Donna, they look a little bit more like quote unquote girlfriend jeans, almost like cool girls, don't care that much kind of jeans. Where on me, they're skin tight. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think with these, the way that they're a little bit cropped, I definitely like them. But one thing I definitely want to point out, she's wearing a 16 short. They don't look too long for her, but they look a good length for her. But the 16 regular is shorter on me. So just be aware of that if you are definitely not into cropped or if you are more my height. I like that they have a little bit of distressing, but not a ton. Oh, these are actually what I wore last night to the movie theater. Oh. So I wore these to the movie last night. They were comfortable. They're not the most comfortable jeans that I own. There's some stretch. I actually really liked these as well. I think part of the problem is, and, I, and, and Jen and I were just talking about this, a lot of these are like a curvy jean and maybe mm -hmm. I need something more that's more of a skinny, not just a curvy skinny. And uh, that's a really good point that I didn't think about when I was picking out jeans. When Donna's like, get right. skinny jeans. Because the curvy part is definitely like probably in the butt and the legs and that's where I would need them to be completely skinny. Like yes. a skinny jean. Yes, that makes sense. Um, maybe but. next time we do this, we could buy your most ideal jeans and my most ideal jeans right. and talk about them versus... Why they're most ideal. Yeah, this versus I think has wearing been good. the same jean. But it's been interesting Very, to see the yeah. same Like jeans. even this, look at the difference, right? It's I know, just it's crazy wild. to me. You I fell don't again. know what I'm doing there. <laughs> I don't think we know what we're doing anywhere, folks. <laughs> that's that on that. <laughs> So I know that I said earlier that Time and True is killing it with the jeans game. I don't know about these specifically. <laughs> specifically. They are cropped, high-rise distressed mom jeans. I actually like the concept of these jeans. I think the distressing is perfectly placed, particularly down there at the bottom. I really, really like that. I just couldn't even get these up. There is, let me check a little. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is their 4% spandex. I can tell you right now they don't feel like 4% spandex. No way, no how. These are in the light wash. They do also come in gray and a dark wash, but the gray and the dark look completely different. They're undistressed. Is that, un un they're non-distressed, undis undistressed? Is that a new word? I'm not really sure. I just Googled it and undistressed is a word. I don't know that it's really the word that we're looking for here, but it is in fact a word. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I mean, these look way better on Donna than they do on me. They don't fit me at all. So it's really just kind of hard to get a gauge on these for her. They look like they're sort of baggy. On me, I can't even button them. I feel like I would like these in a bigger size, but they're definitely, my kind of jean. I really love where they fall. I think they would look awesome with all of my cool fall shoes or sneaks. I love everything about them except the fact that I couldn't button them to fully see what they look like. So... <laughs> Time and true mid-rise wide leg trouser jeans. Here we are, we're shifting into the more dressier style jeans. These are so much a trouser jean that I feel like you could almost get away with wearing these as a true trouser, even if you're not supposed to, or like I like to say, opposed to wear jeans to work because that's how dark they are. That's how much they truly do look like a trouser. I actually have Donna in these too, but I forgot to grab our joint commentary on this one. As you can see, they're probably a good length for me, who's 5'6", and definitely very long for her who was 5'1". I would say that these are a little bit too big for her in a size 16. She probably looks like she needs to wear a 14. And for me, when I originally tried these on, I was thinking, oh yeah, these work, these fit, but they're a little bit too tight. I'm really landing on that because of the way the pockets are. Whenever you see that pocket bulge, I'm going to say for these, I really should be going up a size from my normal size, but I do still feel like they're comfortable. They're stretching here. I really like these. I just look back at the footage, I think I am in the wrong size, but highly recommend these if you want to fake a trouser and wear jeans or just buy them because you like them. I definitely still recommend these. Sophia Flair trouser high-rise jeans. Lots of good to say about these here. I feel like they're a trouser in a jean if there ever was one. They even have those back little mini triangular pockets. I would Google it, but I know you guys don't like when I... Or <laughs> I know you guys like when I don't Google stuff and we just guess. So we'll say the little mini tri... Did I just say triangular? I meant to say rectangular. 
Oh gosh. Okay. Another thing with these is they have those diagonal style pockets. I have always been a little bit challenged with those because they often kind of bow out and just didn't really find that with these. I am five foot six. And one thing to note here is they are clearly long and I'm not seeing on the website that they come in a short, which is really challenging. I mean, these are just going to be way too long for the average person. For me, they will work with heels. And I think that they would be great for work where having them be a flare is super flattering the darker color is flattering. So I'm here for these. I just think they're not gonna necessarily work for everybody. I believe I forgot to say that there is stretch in here. So have no fear, there is stretch in here. Oh my, <laughs> new sayings. Scoop pleated jeans that are both high rise and wide leg. I ordered these because I thought they were different. I first put them on. I just really was not sure about them. However, once I styled them and actually put them with a very fitted top, which I generally am going to do with wide leg jeans, certainly at minimum, not a loose top. I have to say I really liked them a lot better once I did that. One of the reasons why I like them too is they're just different. I don't have any type of pleated jeans. I don't think that is the type of jean that's necessarily going to flatter me the most. However, I do like to have an array of different products and things like that. As you guys know, I'm really trying to build out a full-blown styling closet so that I can continue to build outfits for you, for these videos, for my Instagram content, etc. So I think that they would be perfect for workwear, essentially like a jean trouser. And there is some stretch in here. So these are like a solid medium yes for me. I'm definitely keeping them though. I've already worn them out. I do really like them and I do like how they're rounding out my jean wardrobe, if you will. You saw these earlier, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on them. I just wanted to show you what these look like in the dark pair. These are those sailor jeans that we're still curious about what that even means. You saw them in the lighter version in the pear versus apple segment. I do like them in the darker. I can admit that. And I think that they would be really good for work wear. I'm thinking these I would style with more of like a tall sockish boot kind of a vibe. I still don't know. I'm definitely returning the lighter pair. I guess Yes, I'm undecided on D's guys. Let me know what you think about the darker pair, but like the lighter pair, I would also recommend going down a size. I had to size up to an 18 in these. Time and true mid-rise wide leg jeans. I love these, you guys. Everything down from the center seam to that bulkier style hem. I remember having those, I think it was high school. These are extraordinarily stretchy. I remember when I first tried these on, I was doing lunges and squats and I'm like, yes, these are perfect. I think a lot of times wide leg jeans for me, the ones at least that I have tried are just a little less stretchy. I mean, these you could wear all day around the house, they're that comfortable and stretchy. I think because of the heavy amount of stretch that's in there, I do find them to be at least more flattering than I would typically find wide leg jeans to be. So because they have some of these really nice details, I think that they would be a little bit nicer for work wear. If you are somebody that does wear jeans to work and looking for options there, I am wearing these in my true size 16. If you are afraid of wide leg jeans, but would like to dip your toe, I highly highly recommend these. Time and true high rise flare jeans. These have a 32 inch inseam. Really like these. I can't say anything bad about them, but I also don't feel surprised by them or overly excited about them. They're a very solid pair of jeans. They feel like nice quality, very typical of what you would expect from time and true. I am wearing my true size 16. I think on me being five foot six, I could wear a little bit of a heel with them, possibly a platform sneaker. And I think that they would look just fine like that. There is a ton of stretch in here. So we love that. I don't know that I agree with the fact that they say they're high rise. I feel like they're a little bit more of a medium rise. I mean, if you've been looking for a pair of jeans like this, I think flares are always flattering, but I'm not over the moon about them, but I also can't say anything bad about them. I originally got these barrel jeans last year in a gray color for last year's fall wow week. I really liked them, but found them to be running very small. They were 100% cotton. So I noticed that they came out with them again this year. So I went in new 
newing. I went in newing, you guys. I went in knowing that <laughs> I probably should get a size 18, so that's what I did here. They now do have 1% stretch. They're 99% cotton, and I can tell you I can feel the difference. I actually do like these. Again, even though they are not going to be the most flattering on my body type, I am trying to round out my collection, have a styling closet, everything that I kind of mentioned earlier. Therefore, I do like to have an array of different types of things so that when I go to style certain outfits, I have options. And sometimes for me, that means having options that aren't always the, the best of the best in terms of most flattering. I do think that they look pretty good for what they are, and I do like them. I like how they're going to round out my jeans wardrobe. I'm definitely keeping them. I think I do like them in the darker, better, look a little bit more flattering, but, but let me show them to you in the lighter version. So here they are in the lighter version. I don't know, looking back at the footage, I think I like them the same as the darker pair. So yeah, I like these. I think with something like this, I would opt to wear them with a fitted tee or some type of maybe a bodysuit. I think anytime you have a little bit more of a looser fit down below, and I'm not saying these are loose on me, but I also just mean they're not gonna be form-fitted, tight, stretchy, that type of a jean. That is when I like to do the opposite on the top, which is to wear something definitely fitted just to kind of balance out my overall body shape, body type, the whole outfit. So I don't think I'm going to keep both of these. Tell me if you think I should keep the lighter or the darker pair, but I do like them. And I also think they would be really good for workwear too, because they don't have any distressing on them. And they just are a little bit more of an elevated looking jean, I think because of the way the waist area is. Sophia Vergara, Melissa Flair, high-rise side panel jeans. Let's first just argue with the fact that I don't think these are high-rise, at least not on me. I found them in my true size 16 to actually be a little bit snug, so maybe that was preventing the high-rise, you know, the, the situation in the back, the dump truck situation. That might have been preventing it. I'm not really sure. I thought these were kind of interesting because of just the way the bottom was, so their flare, flare is generally going to be flattering. That little, I feel like I wouldn't call this on but it almost looks like a faux cuff because it's just a darker denim right there. So I just thought that they were interesting, plus they were clearance. I do think they are definitely low stock on the website, but if you happen to be able to find these in store, I think that these are a solid medium yes for me. If I had to pay full price, I feel like they would be a no, but because they were clearance price, I think I'll keep them. Celebrity pink, destructed, exposed button, exposed fly, is that what we call it? flare jeans. I really like these. I'm wearing these in a size 16W, which I think considering this is a juniors brand, I think that translates to juniors plus. A lot of times they'll say juniors plus. It doesn't necessarily say that. I feel like it tracks well in terms of women's size. I'm a 16, but normally in juniors regular, if you will, I'd be more of a 19. If something doesn't have stretch in them, sometimes I'm a 21. If it has a ton of stretch, I can be a 17. So I feel like sometimes the junior sizing and converting that to juniors plus sizing is very very confusing. I have actually a whole video. It was really a scientific style experiment on that on my channel if you're interested comparing juniors and juniors plus. Anyway, I'm pretty sure in high school I destroyed perfectly good jeans trying to get them to look like this with the <laughs> deconstructed M and there is a ton of stretch in these. Uh, these were another one where I was doing practically jumping jacks. Not really. I was doing squats and lunges and I guess it was my exercise for the day. I don't know. They're very, very nice and strong stretchy, so they're very comfortable. I think they're a solid mid-rise style. I thought on the butt with these, it looked a little bit lifted, just the placement of the pocket. So these are a win for me. Next up, we have Time and True cropped, distressed, cuffed jeans. The inseam here is 26 inches. I am wearing my True size 16. I feel like these worked really well for me in the 16. I also did try these in the darker wash, so stay tuned for that. And I want to say that these were slightly more fitted than the darker wash, perhaps. I don't know. Sometimes I think that happens with Walmart jeans, even within the same line. I really like that these have just a wee bit of distressing on them. And I know a lot of you guys are over distressed jeans. I'm really 
really not. I'm over the overly distressed jeans, if you will. So if something just has a wee bit like this, I really do like that. I know I've received the question on Instagram, like what kind of shoes would you wear? I think that jeans like this look really great with loafers. If you're into the loafer trend like I am, definitely a Chelsea boot would be good. Any type of sneaker, including a high top sneaker, a slip on sneaker, any sort of a normal classic lace up style sneaker would be really good with this. Jeans like this look really awesome with heels if you want to wear like a blazer, do a whole night out situation. I probably would shy away from combat boots on these specifically or like I like to say specifically. I guess I can't say that I definitely wouldn't like them. I feel like I would need to see them, but I, I don't know that they would be my number one choice. But hey, maybe we'll have to style those. Let's see what these look like with combat boots. I probably have worn crop jeans with combat boots. These are a huge win. Stay tuned for the darker pair though. As promised, I always save what I think is the best for last or my favorite for last. These are the time and true cuffed crop jeans. Don't be alarmed when you click the link and it says distressed because the lighter version is distressed and the darker version is not distressed. I like the darker version the best. That's why you just saw the lighter version earlier. I'm wearing my true size 16 here. I did end up getting these in a 14 because the 16, although they do fit, they look fine. I'm worried that they could stretch out a little bit. So I thought I would try the 14, you know, to kind of land in the middle somewhere. And the 14 is just too tight. There is a 1% stretch in here. I would describe these as very comfortable, definitely stretchy, but not overly stretchy. They're kind of that perfect blend. Sometimes I think when jeans are too stretchy, then you can sometimes see every lump and bump. You almost want that ri rigidness, rigidity. Is rigidity a word? <laughs> rigidity. I need to look that up. Oh my gosh. So I went against all of my rules and I actually Googled it. Rigidity is a word, you guys. Inability to be bent or to be forced out of shape. Because of that nice little balance between these, I feel like these are just very flattering. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, these were by far the most popular bestseller on Instagram. You guys absolutely loved these. And if you are somebody that does not like high rise, I think these are a very solid medium rise. For me personally, Personally, I love to wear shirts tucked in. They definitely still work for a tucked in shirt, but they also are great if you are not a shirt tucker inner. <laughs> The crop feature is very, very in right now. If you're not new here, you know I have been talking about crop jeans since the beginning of time. Really cropped pants are just kind of my love of life. Should I say they're my love language? That's a big step. I only say very certain things are my love language, like moto jackets, Henleys, etc. <laughs> But I feel like this past year, even this past season, they've really been kind of everywhere in terms of the crop style. I can't recommend these enough. I would run, not walk. I would maybe sprint. I would consider sprinting. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite outfit or item. If you made it all the way till the end of this video, I can never thank you enough. That really helps out me and my channel when you watch all the way to the end. If you're still here, please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of rigidity. Don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I've been in the kitchen cooking them looks. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!